So Joe Biden is um, endorsing Andrew Cuomo over Cynthia Nixon. Um, Cynthia Nixon is the progressive in the race. This is for uh, governor of New York. And Andrew Cuomo is the corporate, the corporatist Democrat. So seeing that Joe Biden has just endorsed Andrew Cuomo over Cynthia Nixon lets me know that Joe Biden, Uncle Joe, is not the progressive that everybody gives him credit for being. He's a corporate Democrat as well, and this proves it. Um, Hillary Clinton started a campaign that was supposed to help women get elected in the office, but she endorsed Andrew Cuomo. So the point of my video, this is an article from uh, the Huffington Post. Um, Wednesday's debate represents a critical opportunity for the challenger, being Cynthia Nixon. Recent polls show her trailing Cuomo by about 30 percentage points. Cuomo has also thumped Nixon in fundraising with $25 million in his war chest versus Nixon's roughly 500000 Okay. Where do you think he's getting that money from? $25 million, That's not small dollar donations, you know? That's PAC money, that's corporate money, that's billionaire money, millionaire money. That's not the regular people. That's not what Cynthia Nixon's doing, which is raising, you know, small dollar donations from the regular people. She's not corporate. She's not bought. She's not a sellout. So this is just disgusting. Um, it's Cynthia Nixon's do or die moment. She has to score points somehow. Hank Sheinkoff, a Democratic strategist, you can never rely on them. Who previously advised Cuomo told Reuters she's got to get a sig really significant knockout in order to get herself into the campaign because she's really not in it. Um, that's, it's disgusting. It it really is like another recent you know poll that I saw that came out said that Bernie Sanders, of course, is the number one uh, person on the Democratic side as far as the voters who we want to run in 2020. Bernie was number one. Elizabeth Warren was number two, Joe Biden was number three, and then you had Cory Booker and Kamala Harris and all those under that. Um, but the arguments for Joe Biden is that, you know, he comes across more authentic and he, uh, you know, obviously he was Obama's VP. Um, but here's, here's the issue with that also. He's just as old as Bernie, you know, within a year or two. And they try to say, oh, Bernie's going to be too old to run, so we'll get Joe Biden instead. Like, I pay attention to all of this stuff. I pay attention to your record, not just your rhetoric. Now, Joe Biden, again, you're endorsing Andrew Cuomo over Cynthia Nixon. The whole thing last year, or uh, in, in 2016, when Hillary was running, was I'm with her, right? Why aren't you with her now, Cynthia Nixon? Because she has better policies, because she is actually progressive she wants to raise taxes on the rich she wants to raise taxes on corporations she wants to do free college she wants to legalize marijuana she wants to do universal health care is that why is that why you're not on board because this doesn't really make any sense joe biden it just doesn't it makes no sense other than the fact that andrew cuomo's a corporatist you're a corporatist and you guys stick together you guys are all part of the same club like jimmy Dore has been saying you know, originally by George Carlin, it's a big club, and we ain't in it. Cynthia Nixon is not in the club, even though she was on Sex and the City, and, you know, she's got relative fame, and, you know, probably got a decent amount of money. She actually wants to do the right things for the people, but yet, you have people that are going against that, you know, people who are allegedly on our side. It's ridiculous. It, it's just, it's really, really, uh, really, really really disgusting um it upsets me that people just are not paying attention people are so concerned about people's words and the way they you know treat each other in public and all of this stuff that they completely ignore policy that's why you know if you guys watch my most recent podcast uh which is on the channel as well um i'm talking about if john mccain's a hero or not he's not a hero he had a horrible record human rights atrocities all over the place didn't want to give you know the united states citizens the health care that he got while he had cancer um it's just hypocrisy upon hypocrisy never met a war he didn't like um you know was very much in favor of cutting taxes for the rich and getting rid of social programs like this is who john mccain was 
But because he's dead now, everyone's like, oh, he's a hero and he was a man of integrity and he was such a good person. He may have been friendly. He may have been a nice person to you, but ask the hundreds of thousands of people overseas that his votes contributed to them dying. Ask them if he's a good person. Ask those families. Ask the families in Iraq and Afghanistan and Syria and Somalia and Yemen and Libya. I could go on. Ask them if he's a good guy, because he's. I, I guarantee you they tell you no. The same way that we would react if somebody said, is Saddam Hussein a good guy, or is Osama bin Laden a good guy? We would say no. They're dead. So just the whole hypocrisy of these politicians is its really, really, really frustrating. It's aggravating. And, you know, Joe Biden, you endorsing Andrew Cuomo basically tells me everything I need to know about you if you decide to run in 2020. I don't think you're getting my vote. It is what it is. You've kind of proved yourself with that one. If you had went with Cynthia Nixon, you would have gave yourself some wiggle room and maybe I'd consider it, you know, if you were running. But not now. Not now.